The best days of my life were during my younger days when I used to act and sing, but not dance, sorry. <laughs> I don't know how to dance. If a man don't understand you, if you wrote that different comics, if you fly on separate beams, make a switch, drop him in the nearest ditch. I have been with Mediacorp, with Pachukang. I don't know if any of you have seen me, but I really liked acting with him. I had to always act as the mother. I can't remember the Japanese people, but my mother used to tell us a lot of stories. Now, one day, my mother and father made a lot of food for the prisoners of war who were lying on the main road. They cooked rice and curry and things, made them eat until they can eat no more, and wrapped up some food in banana leaves. But our neighbor went and reported to the Japanese. That is why the Japanese came to my house. They beat up my mother. They took my father and tortured him before he was taken to Changi jail. A man at the gate told my father, I'll open the gate and you run away. Otherwise, tomorrow morning, they're going to cut your head. My father ran about eight, ten miles home. The pastor Abhishekhanadan helped him to escape to Johor. The next day, the Japanese came, Manalaki. Manalaki means, where's your husband? They asked my mother. My mother said, I don't know. You have taken him. So they went away. Another thing is, my mother went to the road one day and she saw a lorry load of things like that looked like coconuts. But she looked nearer and saw that it was human heads. Not all Japanese were bad people. There were some very good also. One Japanese man came to the well. But we had two big wells. One was about 50 yards away, another one by the side of the house. My mother asked the Japanese man, why do you people want to fight? The Japanese said, we don't want to fight. They send us to fight. That is the Japanese people's story. We have to forget and forgive them. Everything is finished. I love Japanese people. I have even sung in a Japanese choir. Ha, ha, ha.